What is that supposed to be, Dorian? This is the weapon used to stab Mitch Lawrence. You had some fun on the outside. Except the Commissioner Buchanan and D.A. Hannon will get through with you, you're gonna be locked up for the rest of your life. Oh, haven't you heard? The D.A. can't prove anything, except apparently her undying love for the Commissioner. And as far as Bo Buchanan is concerned, I wouldn't bank on him keeping his job much longer. Oh, haven't you heard? Mayor Lord fired him without cause. The Commissioner's attorneys are gonna have a field day. I don't know where you got that, but the letter opener that Mitch Lawrence used to try to kill himself, that's locked up in the evidence room with his fingerprints all over it. Interesting, because this one with the initials JB on it clearly belongs to Jared Banks, and Mitch's blood is all over the blade, and John McBain's fingerprints are all over the handle. John. Would you care to explain that? Officer, we're not through here. Yeah, we are. But I have something to say to you about my daughter, Jessica. John doesn't have to explain anything. He didn't have to. Stay out of it, Natalie. Dorian, <clears throat> where did you get that? Why does that matter? This is obviously clear evidence of an attempted murder and cover-up by John McBain. No, no, he would never do that. It... Well, I won't accept that evidence without a forensics report. Fine, I've already ordered one, in fact. Uh, James, let's make sure we expedite that. That's right, that's right. John? Yeah. Dorian telling the truth? Was that letter opener used to stab Mitch Lawrence? If my prints are on it, they were planted there. Okay, well, does that mean that you wiped it clean and got rid of it? Or that you didn't stab Lawrence? Or does it mean both? You know, if it's true and Mitch didn't stab himself, I hope whoever did gets away with it. So. If Dorian can prove corruption, you're out, but I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay, here it is. A forensic report on the letter opener. And just as I said, it has John McBain's fingerprints all over it. Mm, because the one in the evidence room has Mitch Lawrence's fingerprints all over it. And the victim himself said that he was stabbed by John McBain. Well, I will take the word of a decorated detective over a murder any day of the week. Bo, oh, we both know John's track record on this kind of thing. You know, he has been known to cut corners when he doesn't get things his way. Dorian, don't you think John would be smart enough to wipe his prints off the evidence? Not if he had to make the switch in a hurry. And you know something, Bo, quite frankly, this attempt to, to protect your subordinate just verifies my suspicion that you are somehow involved in this cover-up. Therefore, I'm gonna ask you again, give me back your badge. You're making a mistake, lady. No, sir. You're the one who made the mistake, and I can assure you there's gonna be an investigation. John didn't do anything. Stay out of this now. And Uncle Bo is not covering up anything. Natalie, we can handle it. No, I can't handle it. Okay, I just, I need to get the truth out. I stabbed Mitch Lawrence. Threatening Jessica again? Threaten her. I live to protect her. My children need partners that are worthy of them. And frankly, I find you to be lacking. Well, frankly, I don't give a crap what you think. Dear, while it is noble of you to defend your former beau, a very serious crime has been committed here. I know, because I committed it. I took the letter opener from Jared's office. Don't do this. And I came to the police station, and I saw Mitch in cuffs, and I just, I just stabbed him. That's not true. No, I... 
John came in. He found he found the letter opener on the floor, and and, and he just assumed that Mitch stabbed himself. Natalie, keep your mouth shut. No, no, I stabbed Mitch. You're right. She's covering for me. I did it. So do whatever you need to do with me, but leave Bo and Natalie out of it. Officer Lovett, do what you need to do. No. Nobody gets arrested. Not you and not Natalie. Now, I may serve at the mayor's pleasure, but you don't run this department. I'm still a police commissioner. I call the shots. I will see to it that justice is served, even if I have to call for a special hearing of internal affairs myself. Well, obviously, Dorian, all you want out of this is something against me that will stick. But I'm sure as hell I'm not going to let you run roughshod over everybody here. That's not up to you, Bo. Well, here's the deal. If all you want to put an end to all this crap is my badge, fine. There it is. No, Bo, do not give that to her. You consider me fired. I will accept your badge, Bo. And of course, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. We'll sort the rest of this out later, John. Don't be surprised by a hearing in front of internal affairs. Hey, Dory. What about your letter opener? Thank you. I'll hand this over to your replacement. Excuse me. What the heck was that? I would have handled the charges against me, Bo. Uncle Bo. No, no, I'm fine with it, Natalie. I am so, so sorry. Look, I'm the one that Dorian wanted. If this hadn't worked, she would have tried something else. Why would Dorian risk firing someone who's the best man for the job? Why would she make that her first job as mayor? Maybe it wasn't up to her. I need a moment alone with that prisoner. But the commissioner said... Bob Buchanan is no longer police commissioner, effective immediately. I, however, am still the mayor, and I have just given you an order. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much, Officer Flynn. You're growing into your power every day, Mayor. I did your dirty work in exchange for my family's safety. Brilliant. It gave me no pleasure asking Bo to turn over his badge. Oh, I find that hard to believe. Whatever issues we have had in the past, I respect him, and you've made my job as mayor ten times as difficult. Uh, I am not going to be able to fill his shoes. And yet, someone will have to. Which brings me to your next task. What? I'm still waiting to hear your hand-picked choice for police commissioner. Mm. It's one of my more brilliant ideas, if I do say so myself. The only person that could have known about the other letter opener is Lawrence. But why would Dorian do his bidding? Probably holding something over her. Yanking her chain from a hospital room and from jail. I guess he's done worse. But there's no way he would have found that letter opener wherever you stashed it. But obviously he's got a lot of people working for him. Well, if we're gonna get Lawrence, I think we've gotta find out who those people are. We will. The resignation won't be for nothing. That's who you've picked to replace Bo as the police commissioner? Mm, perfect, isn't it? Perfectly insane. Even if I wanted to, which I do not, it's impossible. But you're Dorian Lord, the mayor of Landview. Why, you of all people should know, Dorian. 